So our guide's now taking us down so we can get closer to the lava Yay! to actually see how hot it is and I believe to toast a marshmallow. So it's bright and early, it's six o'clock in the morning and today we are going to climb and toast marshmallows on an active volcano. So we just stopped off to buy some snack to give us energy to climb the two hour hike up the volcano and uh, as we said in previous videos, you can see Antigua is surrounded by volcanoes and uh, we're super excited to be climbing one today. So after a one hour drive we have arrived at the bottom of the volcano and it's really chaotic so we're following our guide here you can see behind me and uh, they said it's probably about seven kilometers walk in total so the tour actually cost us 80 quetzales each which we got from uh, in Antigua and when you arrive at the park you have to pay 50 quetzales which is about five pounds entrance free into the park which Marianne's just doing now behind us so when you arrive um, you can also buy walking sticks so we bought one each just to uh, to help the knees five quetzales each they were so it was 10 10 quetzales for two We've got a fun group today, so let me introduce who's on our group today. Garrett. I'm Olivia. And this is you guys, Ethan. Yeah. yeah, you guys are from the States. Hi, I'm Letizia from Italy. Hi, oh, Italy. Italia. Hi, I'm from Germany. <laughs> there you go, so we've got a real group today, so we're going to have so much fun. <laughs> So it's pretty steep, um, but we're doing good. We've got the, the two horses following us in case we flake. <laughs> yeah, they've marked the unfit ones. <laughs> they spot the unfit ones and follow the, them, you might get some, uh, some rides. Yeah. But yeah, it's all good. Slow and steady. But you, uh, you can feel the air, the altitude is a little thin, hence the breathing nothing to do with my fitness levels and uh, we chose to do the tour in the morning you can do it in the morning or the afternoon we chose the morning because in the afternoon in rain, rainy season which it is now it very often rains so uh, it's good and sunny today so we're climbing up the hill and as we're walking up it varies between rocks steep steps and just volcanic sand we've just pulled over to the side because you can actually see pacaya and there's actually plumes of smoke coming out of the top which is slightly unnerving but yet very exciting and i think i should introduce karina who is our guide for the day <laughs> and then we have all these beautiful guys behind us who have their beautiful horses
So we're stopping for our first rest stop and a quick swig of water. We haven't succumbed to riding the horses yet. So you need a degree of fitness because it's actually very tiring, very long and very hot and uh, we weren't sure what to wear for the tour because you're going to altitude so you weren't sure whether it was going to be cooler but it's hot mainly due to the exercise but it's definitely hot shorts a t-shirt you're not going to be wearing any more than that so tread the globe is bringing up the rear and it's a slow and steady race and the tortoise is going to win. Yeah, maybe not win, but we'll definitely get there. <laughs> yeah, we're the last in the group for sure, but we'll make it. And we're determined to make it without a horse. We found our group. <laughs> One of the reasons to do this hike, go for all the exercise, is to see views like that behind us. Another volcano, absolutely beautiful. We're so lucky this morning to have blue skies and uh, hopefully it's sunny on the way down too. Amazing, we're loving Guatemala. So we've done about an hour and uh, apparently there's another two hours to go. Yay! Yay! But we'll do it. Mama didn't raise no quitters. So we're stopping for one minute just to rest for a minute before we do round, what round is it? 367. <laughs> yeah, I keep having mini breaks because I'm finding the heat and the altitude and the, but I'm gonna do it. Strong. Okay, so here's the question. Obviously it's nothing to do with my fitness levels. Obviously. But how come these girls are not sweating at all and we're dripping? <laughs> And they're carrying a baby. And they're not sweating. I don't know. I don't know. It must be genetics. Oh, that's what it is. Nothing to do with fitness sweating is at good. all. So if you do come to Central America, particularly Guatemala, you have to do the volcanoes. You have to go up a volcano on part of your trip here. And uh, yeah, we couldn't do the five hour one, but one. we realize that now, but we realized that before we did it. That's why we didn't book it. But uh, there's different hikes depending on your uh, abilities and you get to see lava and hey, even toast marshmallows. So you can actually see the volcano, the top of it behind us, smoking in the distance. Oh, yeah. It still looks like a long walk. Okay, I'm officially in, in front of the group, probably not for very long, but I thought I'd take the opportunity get it. <laughs> to get it on camera. Slow down, that's why, that's why I've got a big stick. <laughs> that was funny, we nearly took a wrong turn until everybody shouted, no, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> oh yeah, our group's waiting for us up there. So we've reached a point in the hike where the ground's starting to change and you can see the volcanic rock. It's really alive. I can't smell any sulfur. No, there's no smell yet. So we made it, we're at the top of Pacaya, which you can see behind us, an absolutely beautiful space to come and take photos. And you can actually see where the lava has come down the side of the volcano behind us. Absolutely breathtaking views. It's very hot up here, but yeah. it's worth the hike. So if you come to Guatemala, come to Antigua and do a day trip up here, it is so worth it. 
What's really bizarre is that side it's all black volcanic stuff and then we'll turn the camera around and it is green it is forest plantation land it's stunning absolutely amazing views So our guide's now taking us down so we can get closer to the lava Yay! to actually see how hot it is and I believe to toast a marshmallow and uh, you have to be really careful because this is a live volcano with lava running down the side of it. How cool is this? So we're walking over the old lava bed and uh, obviously our guide knows where to walk and where not to walk but it's like being on the moon it's such a strange landscape you can actually feel the heat now coming off the ground and uh, bit hazardous to walk on okay so this is the part of the tour where you actually get to what ma roast marshmallows <laughs> in the lava here once in a lifetime opportunity I think so we're just getting some sticks to stick the marshmallows on so what's amazing you can feel the heat coming from the rocks so Marianne is just gonna roast her marshmallow now and put them in this hole here Wow, it's so hot. It's all, it's there, it's brown. It doesn't look like it's cooked, but it's actually all squishy. It's so hot. And sticky. The heat coming off the ground is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna roast these now. It's so hot. Mm, and super. Honestly, it's so hot. I can't believe how hot it is. It almost, it's almost burning my hand. Oh wow. Oh, you can eat oh, that is amazing. They are hot. And squishy. Seconds. Mm. <laughs> Roasting marshmallows on an active volcano. Tick. What an experience. Wow. I'm not even really a marshmallow person, but I had to do it because I was curious as to what it would taste like. I was slightly convinced that it might be a bit sulfurous. You can't um, actually smell sulfur. No, it's all heat. It's all heat. And all it's heat. literally the heat coming out of those holes yeah. was like putting your hand in an oven. In an it, oven. Was, it, was, it was super, super hot. Yeah. And uh, the whole air just changes as soon as you go on it. Yeah. In fact, I was a little bit worried about our shoes, but the volcanic yeah. rock is quite porous, so the top bit the warm, surface bit was warm but, but once you got under that first layer it was like super hot yeah, it was absolutely hot. the power of nature never ceases to amaze us and you can imagine this this uh, this river of lava that we're walking next to when it was actually flowing initially must the heat and the 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 sight must have been something out of this world What's actually amazing is that on the top of the volcano you can actually see a trickle of a river of lava red coming down. If you look on TripAdvisor wherever you go around the world there are things to do and this is one of them. You can either hike and camp and sleep on the volcano or you can toast marshmallows. I was all about the marshmallows. It's, it's tough. I'm not that fit, I, it was tough, but I really am proud that we've done it. It was great fun. We've just literally got back from our fabulous volcano walk and uh, we're just gonna pop out and grab a piece of lunch. But I literally have to introduce this amazing woman. She looks after us and she is so lovely. She works, she's so hardworking. And this is Leticia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come with your good stuff. <laughs> and horses. 
but I need the exercise. And in fact, I might strip off soon. What, your shirt off and your t-shirt? I might, yeah. I'm gonna go up in my underpants, I think. Come on! I'm Woo! <laughs> 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 I'm so happy to do this. I'm so happy it's to amazing. do this. <laughs> it's easy. Oh. No, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, we were going to wait until the sweat stopped rolling and we had our breaths oh. back, but Chris thought it would be a good idea to do it once we out of breath. You won't be able to pick this up on the camera, you but you can hear it crackling. I don't know why I'm whispering. Cut. 